The Outlander season 4 finale started with a clip of a man in the 20th century but never returned to him. Just who was he? Here's that clip explained. For the title card during the Outlander season 4 finale, there was a shot from the 20th century. With two kids playing cowboys and Indians around the park, we got a look at a Native American who is clearly mad at the boys playing. Yet, we never went back to him. So, who was he? Well, he was supposed to be Otter Tooth and the clue was from the stone around his neck. It was the exact same stone Claire found with the skull and the one she wore around her neck. Otter Tooth was the man who had come from the future to warn the Iroquois of their impending doom. He wanted the natives to fight against the white man, but instead, he was viewed as crazy and dangerous and was eventually killed. One of the Mohawk women explained the full story, which had happened before her birth, giving us an idea of how long Otter Tooth had been buried in North Carolina. In the title card scene, we got the glimpse of his anger. He wasn't angry at the children running around him but at the depiction of cowboys and Indians. It's just an innocent childhood game for many, but there's a much deeper meaning to it. Why wasn't that explained in the show? Well, not everything should need to be explained. This isn't like a book where we get all of Claire's, Roger's, or whoever's thoughts. A lot is left for us to piece together through glimpses of items or quick lines, and in this case, it was about the look of the stone. There is more to Otter Tooth's story in the books. Whether that will come up in Outlander Season 5 or 6 is unknown, but there is a chance. Did you understand what the show was getting at with the title card scene? What did you think of Otter Tooth's story? Share your thoughts in the comments below.